playing uh, congas or uh, any of this kind of stuff when you're not playing the drums. So let's say you've been booked for a gig on percussion because either you're too loud as a drummer or there's not enough room or all those reasons that we've all been booked on percussion but we're drummers really and, and that's really why I was doing this anyway. This whole reason was to help drummers out of a, a situation rather than kind of and look at it from a drummer's point of view as opposed to, you know, a percussionist's point of view because certainly I found a lot of percussion stuff quite intimidating when I was just trying to get through a pop or a singer-songwriter gig, you know. So essentially, if you're trying to replicate a kit part, your slap is your snare drum, and your bass tone on your tu on your timber is is your bass drum, and everything else, all the all the kind of ghosted closed tones and stuff, are your cymbals and your hi hats. So, you know, again, single strokes. This is a really resonant drum today, but coming off that's really ringing. If I want it dead, I leave my hand in it. It's exactly the same as burying the beater inside a bass drum. And again, you know, these drums on stand are bassy, even the even the high pitched kinta bit. All just all just hand to hand, all right, left, right, left. So just just a sort of quick tip on, uh, you know, replacing kit parts with percussion parts.